hello there, long time no see. It's Michael from Make It WordPress here, and I'm testing all things related to WordPress and other technical stuff, such as service. And today I'm going to test uh, some service from Hetzner. Hetzner is a German server provider, a German hosting provider. Uh, they're one of my favorite providers. They're um, not expensive, but they offer a lot of value and offer a good cloud service. And the interesting thing is that Hetzner uh, just announced their new Intel server offering. And in this video, I'm going to compare the new Intel offering compared to the AMD offering uh, they already have, and especially in terms of uh, performance. So we'll see in a moment how well it does. All right, so this video is about Hetzner. But if you don't know Hetzner, who or what is Hetzner? Hetzner is a German-based cloud provider. They also have servers in America. And they're well known for offering uh, very inexpensive, but still very performant um, cloud, uh, cloud servers. And also they offer other kinds of uh, servers, such as dedicated, managed, bare metal, storage, and so on and so forth over a lot of services but they were widely used for the well-praised cloud offering and, and an interesting thing happened for Hetzner That's, and the thing is that they updated their uh, Intel offering they always had an offering with Intel and AMD processors and as you may know uh, servers use processors and the most major brands are AMD and Intel and they have a new offering for Intel uh, next to the offering they had from AMD so this made me really curious. How well does the shared uh, offer of Intel do uh, compared to AMD? Is it really uh, equal comparable? It's a, a bit more cheaper. So what can we expect from it? So that's why I did some benchmark. And in this video, I will also show you some of these benchmark. So without further ado, let's look into what we have here for Intel. So I will just pulling up a terminal window and let's see what we have here for the processor. And this prints out all the information we have for the various cores uh, of uh, the CPU. And we can see that we have an Intel Xeon processor here from the Skylake family. Uh, it's running at around 2294 megahertz and that's a pretty big cache so that's interesting and what do we have for amd let's close this one we won't be needing it so for amd we can do the same command and there we are um, it prints the same information for every core that's running by the way in this case both uh, both machines have four cores and eight gigs of ram so they're uh, in terms of performance specs they have the same config configuration so here we have an amd epic processor running at around 2445 megahertz and you can also see on the side what kind of uh, processors they are using so what kind of results does that give us well let's have a brief look so here we are i put actually i put uh i did three types of tests um i used the wp benchmark io the wp performance tester and also a post benchmark plugin i wrote myself and um well it's useful here on the left i have the results for intel and here on the right i have the results for amd and we can see at a glance that uh, AMD is uh, winning here um, almost uh, by 50% uh, if we go to the CPU memory operations. Um, it's uh, much faster than uh, what Intel uh, is doing here. Um, we also see that AMD has somewhat faster disks. So all uh, operations with writing files, storing files and so forth is faster here. And concerning uh, WordPress we also see that using the database is faster on uh, AMD with a wide uh, margin um, and also uh, at last for network speed um, 
the AMD powered server is doing better. So it makes sense that AMD is almost as twice as expensive because it's also doing a lot better in this test. So do we see the same result with other tests? Well, I can already say yes. We do see the same results for other tests. Here in a WP performance tester, we can see the server benchmark is about 16. Um, this benchmark is always uh, a bit off because the MySQL query benchmark um, uh, usually scores pretty bad and makes the whole score here very high. Um, higher is not a good number here. And then if we look to the queries per second that can be handled in the Intel server, it's around 1000, 1000, 1047 in this case. Um, if we look to uh, AMD, it scores a lot better. Here we got a score of nine seconds. Uh, which is a lot faster than uh, Intel. And then for queries per second, we even uh, got a number close to 2000 queries a second, which is almost uh, the double of what uh, Intel is doing here. So this is a really uh, good score. And it also makes it uh, in the range of some uh, bigger and uh, well-known WordPress providers. So yeah. And at last, I also wrote a plugin myself, which simulates the aspect of inserting, querying, and deleting 10,000 posts, and then manages, measures the time between these things, and also gives it a score. Um, compared to all the providers I test, the Intel, uh, Intel server is still doing pretty okay. We have about 80 seconds insert time, somewhat slower query time and deletion time of 33 seconds but then again if we compare this to the AMD server here on the right it's a lot faster with insertion time of about 12 seconds and a query time of 0.147 seconds and then a deletion time of about 21 seconds and well what this figures say you may think nice benchmark but uh, what does it mean for my real work performance well it means that your backend uh, will be a lot faster on this uh, AMD powered server and also you'll be uh, able to handle probably you'll be able to handle more plugins do operations such as inserting deleting posts faster and also if you have a web shop or membership site it is probably going uh, to handle all requests faster now uh, at last for a fun exercise uh, will be uh, uh, actually, we'll be um, doing some uh, load testing uh, on the server to see how many uh, users uh, it can handle. And for this, we use a very uh, we have a very useful tool called H2 Load. I will just uh, pull up my terminal window uh, in here. Uh, by the way, if you think what a nice interface is this, what is this interface? It ain't Windows, it ain't Mac OS, it's Linux and then a Pop OS flavor. You should really try it. I uh, moved from Windows to uh, Linux and so far uh, it has been a great uh, experience, especially if you are uh, into development and machine learning. It's, uh, yeah, it's a no brainer. Nevertheless, let's do uh, the load testing. I'll paste my command and this uh, simulates a uh, thousand uh, requests for 10 clients with 10 concurrent streams at uh, the address here. And I'm curious uh, how well the server will uh, handle this. <laughs> By the way, it's a totally empty WordPress installation, only benchmark plugins, nothing else. It's the default theme. Um, the setup is exactly the same for Intel and uh, AMD, so nothing has been changed on uh, that end. <laughs> and there we are, we can handle about uh, 52.62 rec requests per second, uh, which I think is a pretty good, uh, uh, still it's a pretty good score for a server, but then see how well AMD will do. Will it be able to handle more um, requests per second? And there we are. We can already see this test is going a lot faster, uh, as you can see. And there we are, we have 85. Here's the number, we have 85.75 requests per second, uh, which is uh, uh, a lot higher than the 52 uh, um, 
regress the seconds we got here. So, um, concluding this review, would I recommend the Intel uh, service, the new Intel service from uh, Hetzner? Well, if performance is not really that important, and you run all the stat static sites, you have a very good you have a very good deal uh, for the Intel servers. They're very uh, they're very cheap actually. And uh, let's just go back to uh, their site, show the prices. So one time more, um, you have you already have a server uh, starting with two for the CPUs and four gigs of RAM for only uh, about four euros. Uh, this is with a uh, value added tax. Um, if I would remove the value added tax, depending on the situation, uh, you may not have value added tax. It is even uh, a lot cheaper. And if you compare this to other providers, such as DigitalOcean, Filter, or Upcloud, um, they're much more expensive. If you want to have the same uh, specs, you would pay at least four times as much. So I think it's pretty, uh, pretty good. Uh, offering and uh, of course AMD is a bit more expensive for the same setup but we always uh, we somewhat pay uh, the double for more space but then it's also a lot faster right amazing well it's interesting to see that Intel performed not as good as AMD but then again Intel is a lot cheaper so depending on your use case uh, Hetzner may be very interesting to use and also in terms of WordPress I think Hetzner is very interesting uh, if you have uh, some technical skills you definitely can use Hetzner to host a lot of WordPress websites especially these uh, new server packages which start already very cheap make it very interesting to host your own WordPress sites uh, for a very low price or uh, even uh, start your own hosting business well thank you for watching and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below oh and by the way there's also a link uh, in this video to an article on uh, this with more figures numbers benchmarks and so forth right, see you